an android. And collector of knowledge and civilizations. But collecting cities has lost its fulfillment. I now want to collect worlds. Lego Batman 3 sees us going into space for the first time. Brainiac's turned up, he's found Green Lantern, he's found the power of the Green Lantern's ring, and with the Green Lantern and all the other lanterns, he's basically gonna make the shrink ray and he's gonna collect Earth. We've got to stop him! I wasn't planning on giving up. <laughs> we thought, Lego Batman 2 introduced DC, let's now go to town with it, let's really go into these characters that bring this world to life. And we really wanted to sort of dig into the, the wider world of everything that was not only DC, but also Lego we're creating. So from a DC perspective, we try and get as much access to anything we can. So with comic books, TV series, the films, cartoon, anything we can get our hands on. With Lego Batman 2, the setting was still Gotham and we had around about 50 playable characters. Now we're beyond Gotham, there's way more stuff to play with. This is almost an A to Z of DC Comics. We've got every single character we can possibly get into this video game. We've got some incredible playable characters uh, like Blue Beetle, Shazam is amazing, The Lanterns, Sinestro, Laughly, Zatrocitus, Saint Walker, Star Sapphire, and we've also brought some incredible new villains and bosses. I've read comics with Polka Dot Man, he's in there. You might have seen a crazy character like Condiment King. He's in there with his ketchup gun and his mustard gun. Mixie as Pitlick is in the game. Mr. Mixipult Tick. Mr. M uh... Mr. Matixel. I, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> it's one of those tricky ones. It's pronounced Mixie as Pitlick. There is so many characters that we've just found and then actually fallen in love with. We had an amazing opportunity expanding uh, to the wider DC universe to go crazy with, with creatures, with different worlds, with different abilities, has just opened up a world of possibilities for us. And what's great with this is these characters allow us to do things we wouldn't have done in the past. We have the return of big figs in the game, but not only do we have big figs, we now have flying big figs. The great thing about LEGO games is that we're allowed to play with dynamics that, that haven't been experienced before. And, and as such, you can put characters in situations where things that happen between the Justice League members, but to be able to bounce characters like Grundy off of Wonder Woman when they're working together, it really allows us as a team to kind of bring the humor out. Wonder Woman, Grundy, help Lantern. We're always looking for ways of giving the fans a character they know and love, but also giving them something new and fun. I'm Batman! And to do that across over 150 characters and know that the fans are going to love this. It's a, it's a real joy. So LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham, is it's about us being fanboys and, and delivering a game that fanboys are going to want. Yes, we've got the Justice League. Yes, we've got the Legion of Doom. Yes, we've got the Lantern characters. But we want it to be the biggest, the best LEGO Batman game there's been.